Every year, the Philippine Medical Society sends medical professionals to the Philippines to provide much needed medical care in severely underserved areas. Next month, you will have an opportunity to help the latest medical mission. Christine, Dr. Christine, I should say, and Joelle Nadeau are with the Medical uh, Filipino Association to tell us more about their upcoming event. Thank you guys both for being here. Thanks for having us. And so, Dr. Christine, you guys just returned this January from uh, a medical mission. Tell us about it. That's right. Um, the medical mission was in uh, Labo, is in Camarines Norte, in uh, Luzon area of the Philippines. Um, we served about 2,400 patients in five days. Um, close to 200 surgeries were done, including cleft palates, um, inguinal hernia re repairs, um, minor surgeries with lots of tumors excised. Um, it was a great mission. And uh, you were there uh, with your wife. Uh, was this amazing for you just to see the amount of need and, and just the medical care? They probably have never seen a doctor before, many of these people. Right. Uh, for me, I was, as being a non-medical person, yeah. I was more of a on the logistical side as well as the, um, I kind of walked around and got to meet people and got to help out wherever I could because sometimes people don't just need medical attention, they need some kind of attention. Yeah. And I was able to provide that, and, but it was just amazing. Uh, you, you think we have it bad here. Um, nothing it, compares to nothing. what's going on in these third world countries. Um, a lot of folks from the Kansas City, the metro area, they help out in these medical missions. Um, That's right. How many people travel uh, yearly uh, from the KC area? Um, this year we had 32 participants total, including the physicians, uh, the nurses, and some of the non-medical uh, folks. Um, it varies year to year, 30 to 40 uh, people usually yeah. make up the group. So we're serving a lot of, of people daily with just a very small handful of, of people yeah. really helping. And Dr. Mm -hmm. Nadeau, what is probably the most severe case that you've seen when you've been on these mm -hmm. medical missions? Um, one of the most touching cases I had was a little patient named Prince. He's 18 months old. He had an electrical burn to his finger, and that was a, a month before I actually saw him. So I amputated his finger wow. um, using local anesthesia with him just sitting on his mom's lap. Wow. And uh, he did great, you know, and, and there are lots of different cases. We, had, uh, we removed a seven to eight pound ovarian tumor from a woman who probably would not have had surgery. Wow. So, All right. lots of great things. A lot of good things, mm -hmm. a lot of great memories, and so many people being helped out by these medical missions. Thank you both for being here and sharing your story. So here's the deal. Um, obviously, it costs a lot of money to get a lot of supplies out there, to get the people out there. So if you would like to help out, there's gonna be a, a medical society annual uh, medical ball. It's March 17th. It starts at six o'clock. It's gonna be at the Intercontinental. If you wanna get more information, there's a number on your screen. It's 816-201-9910. You can also email uh, if you'd like to request any information about this medical ball. Thank you both again for being here. Thank you very Thanks much.